In this video, I'm going to talk about what intermediate term highs and lows is. So there are two different kinds of ways we could identify intermediate term highs and lows. The first one is the classic formation, where we have a short term low, and then after that we have a swing low, taking out that short term low, and then after that we have a short term low again that fails to take out the swing low down here. So this is the first classic formation, and the lowest low right here, this swing low is the intermediate term low. So whenever we see this formation, we don't want to see this low get traded back to. So the next kind of intermediate term high or low is called the rebalanced one. The rebalanced one is whenever price rebalanced into a further gap. And in this case, this further gap is within a discount. So it's whenever price makes a re re rebalance into a further gap. And then we will also like to see a failure swing low and that means price fails to take out this new low we made right here. So as you see, this right here is the intermediate term low because price rebalanced off of this further gap right here. It makes a rebalance down into the further gap. Then we react to it and then we create a failure swing low failing to take out this low down here. So that confirms that this is a intermediate term low. So now let's talk about how we can use these different kinds of intermediate term highs and lows. So the way we can use these kind of intermediate term highs or lows is, first of all, as a stop loss. So let's just say, in this case, a way to take a trinity off of this balanced price range, a BPR. As you see, then I would enter right when price makes a retracement down into this balanced price range, put my stop loss and the intermediate term low, and then target liquidity. So if I were to target the interim risk liquidity, it would only make a 1.9 risk score ratio. So in that case, I could just target some liquidity over here. And that will make a 2.7 risk score ratio. And as you see, price does not trade back to the intermediate term low. And we go straight for the buy side liquidity. So for our next example, we're going to use the classic formation. As you see, we have a short term low right here. Then we have a swing low, taking out the short term low. And then after that, we have a short term low again. So now, if we were to take a trade entry based off the idea of the short intermediate term low, we could enter when price makes a short term low. So based off this inversion further gap, as you see, price makes the retracement down into the inversion further gap, and then we create the short term low. So based off that idea that this could turn out to be an intermediate term low, this low down here, then you could enter off of this inversion value gap and hope the price does not trade down here. So then if we were to take a trade entry, we could enter right when price touches the inversion value gap, put our stop loss, the potential intermediate term low, we don't know if it's going to make intermediate term low yet, and then take profit up at these relative equal highs or all the way up here. And of course, that would make a 3.9 risk reward ratio. So you could also trade with the idea that price is probably going to make an intermediate term low and then put your stop loss down at the potential intermediate term low. And then, of course, target buy side liquidity. So now we're going to talk about when intermediate term highs and intermediate term lows don't work. So we know the price usually moves from external range liquidity to internal range liquidity and from internal range liquidity to external range liquidity. So we see right here, we have external range liquidity. We see price takes out external range liquidity right here, and then starts to move higher, targeting internal range liquidity. So as we see, we have internal range liquidity right here, internal range liquidity right here. And these two are intermediate term highs because they are delivering from, let me just make it clear. Right here, you see they are delivering from a further gap. So this is an intermediate term high. So price is most, most likely to target the intermediate term high. And we also see right here, price also takes out this intermediate term high. So that's usually when intermediate term highs and lows don't work, is when price has taken out external range liquidity and it is going to target internal range liquidity, which are these intermediate term highs and lows. So if we were to trade the rebalanced intermediate term highs and lows, we can 
first of all, let's say we were to deliver it from this value gap right here, which you see prices. Then we want to see price make the failure swing low. So if we were to trade this kind of intermediate term low rebalanced, we could enter right when let's just say price makes a rebalance down to the consequent encouragement. And whenever we see price starts to deliver, wait, yeah, right there, deliver from the intermediate term low we created, then we can put our stop loss down to this intermediate term low. Right down here. And the reason for that is because when we see price deliver from this intermediate term low, we don't want to see price come back into the intermediate term low. Because then the idea of higher prices would be invalidated, as we know. So in that case, we would target buy side liquidity, and that could be right here. So this is how we would trade the intermediate term low or and highs in the rebalanced way. So just another example on how we could trade the rebalanced way of the intermediate term highs and lows is in the case. In this case, we see price is starting to deliver from this value gap within a short term range and we see price start to lure from it so if we were to take a trade entry from this further gap we also have a change instead of delivery down here we could insert right here oh wait yeah right there put our stop loss at the high and then target so sell liquidity down here so as we see price makes the retracement up into the further gap, then starts to leave the further gap again. So in that case, we want to put our stop loss now at this high up here, because this would be the intermediate term high. And we see we have the failure swings that fail to take out the high. And then price delivers all the way down to the sell side liquidity. So that's just another short example on how we could trade the rebalanced way of intermediate term highs and lows.